One of my earliest memories is from a dingy little thrift store in Minneapolis back in 1985. My parents gave me free reign to rummage through the toys and sporting equipment while they shopped for home furnishings and clothes. I loved it. Most of our things came from the thrift store around this time, the frugalness being part necessity and part the ethos of my dad. He still says things like, retail is for suckers. <laughs> and sooner or later, everything ends up at the thrift store. <laughs> at a certain age, I decided that the thrift store was definitely not cool anymore. But I came around again as a teenager when I began digging for records. After college, while chasing a career as a photojournalist at small town newspapers out west, I used the thrift store as a familiar place in my lonely hours. So, over the last 25 years, I've had a love-hate relationship with the thrift store. One day, I was browsing the aisles, and I noticed a camera that still had a roll of film in it. I could see through the small window on the back a roll of Kodak. I looked at the dial, the one that counts the number of pictures taken on the roll, and it read eight. I wondered what these eight pictures might be, sitting there, decaying away in a latent state on the film. I decided to buy the camera, a mere 90 cents, <laughs> as I imagined how I might be able to use this still undeveloped film. I decided I would reuse the film including those eight frames already once exposed to snapshots. I was shocked by the resulting double exposures. They were a bit unnerving, really. I was messing with someone else's camera, with their captured yet unfixed images. Still, I too had made these pictures. I was lost somewhere between appropriation and collaboration. My curiosity grew. I was at the edge of my seat as these images appeared scanning in line by line on my computer. I decided that I would seek out more of these cameras containing film. It has taken hundreds of trips to thrift stores over the last two years to purchase more than 100 of these discarded cameras containing film. Do any of them look familiar? <laughs> it's not exactly as normal as a record collection, I realize. So I created a conceptual and chance-driven process for using this film. After first finding and then purchasing one of these cameras, I go out to the parking lot and rewind the film in a changing bag. I go back into the thrift store and photograph the objects lining the pegboard walls and shelves. I never know what to expect. When the film had, in fact, been used before, a double exposure results. My image punctures the previous owner's image on the film. Two images separated by time and space between consumer and conceptual approaches to the medium become one. In place of two discrete images, these new single images open an interstitial photographic space. Just how much time and space exists between exposures is impossible to know. Equally elusive are the reasons why the previous owners discarded the cameras in film. Unless, of course, you've just seen yourself. Thank you.